Dozens selling Tulsa, a new idea to grow a billion-dollar industry. They call it the Bring It Home Tour, and two news anchor Dina Silk went along. She joins us live downtown. The people on today's tour were mainly from Tulsa, some from Oklahoma City, but they were all treated as tourists, even attending last night's Carrie Underwood concert here at the BOK Center, then staying at a nearby hotel. The idea is to sell them on the city so they can sell it to others. This is the lobby that has started it all in Tulsa. From the Phil Tower to the streets of downtown Tulsa. It's a security feature, and it just kind of led to other tunnels being built throughout the city. These locals are seeing the city through a tourist eyes. It's called Bring It Home Tulsa campaign. And what we're doing is we're focusing uh, on Tulsa. Not only is everyone involved from Oklahoma, but they also belong to national associations that could one day bring millions to the local economy. They're always looking for a great hotel, great city where they can come out and have a great time and still have their meetings. Tierra Doxy works for a site selection company out of Oklahoma City. She is constantly looking for new venues to host major conferences. Really and truly, I never thought about Tulsa for an event. It was always Oklahoma City, keeping them there, but Tulsa has a lot more to offer. Over the past few years, nearly $1 billion has been invested toward the revitalization of downtown Tulsa. From the BOK Center and One Oak Field. We've got an on-site kitchen, we have an on-site chef. To hotel expansions and new ones to come. They are going to be turning that building into a new Aloft hotel here in Tulsa. An eye-opening tour these locals plan to share with others. Our group has never had a meeting here in Tulsa for our board, and for the first time we're thinking about bringing a meeting here. And organizers hope to have another tour in the spring. If you would like to read more about the Bring It Home campaign, just go to our website, kjrh.com. Live in downtown Tulsa, Dina Silk, 2 News works for you.